What's going on guys? Song Yolo here with another beer video. Right, let's get into this beer. Um, it is Block 15's The Incredible. Um, it's a triple IPA at 11%, I think. Or actually, 10.5%. 10.5%, I was close. 10.5% um, triple IPA, or as they call it, Imperial Double IPA. Same thing, triple. Um, I've had a four pack of this for some time now. I just couldn't get around to it. I have a ton of beer to uh, do videos on and I just don't always have time to do so. But um, yeah, here we are. So let's get this into a glass, see what it looks like, smells like, and tastes like. All right, so it's pouring like a dark orange coppery color. Um, let me finish the pour here. Alright, so I poured with about a finger of head, like this dark orange, coppery, cloudy kind of look to it. Um, yeah, just white head, pretty, pretty fluffy white head. Um, I can already kind of smell it, actually, just from being poured in glass. But yeah, putting it to the light, like this dark orange color that's, um, you can, I can see my hand on the other side of the glass, but it's not clear. It, but it's not a like a haze beer, I guess. It's just it's just like a cloudy uh, beer. Let's get into the aroma. Got the beer on my nose again. I keep doing that. Um, first off, I get this um, citrus smell and caramel sweetness. Um, a little bit of dankness. I poured too much in the glass. I should have left some room. <laughs> But yeah, definitely like this pineapple mango sweetness with like a little bit of like a caramel sweetness to it. Um, and then you get citrus and a little bit of pine and dankiness. Yeah, that's all I get for now. Um, let's get into the taste. Cheers. Alright. So that caramel sweetness kind of thing I was describing, you totally get that on there, um, on the palate. Um, it's actually fairly strong. It's like a very strong, not very strong, but it's a strong, like a caramel malty sweetness to it. And then you get some hoppiness in the back end um, as it finishes, but the uh, caramel sweetness kind of just like takes over. You get this um, slight booze, um, booziness to it that you can totally feel in the back of your throat you know when you drink, drink like a uh, high I ABV um, IPA or triple IPA in this case um, you get that boozy hotness in the back of your throat I'm getting that and this beer has been sitting for actually I don't even know let's, let's check the bottom of the can it says 3217 so it's been sitting for what a little over two months now um, and it still has that booziness to it, which is fine. I'm, no big deal. I don't doesn't bother me none um, But I just remember this beer being very crushable the first time or two. I had it um, Yeah, for like a ten and a half percenter. It's totally not like Boozy boozy like you can feel in the back of your throat, but no big deal. As for fruit flavors, I mean, <laughs> I'm not getting a whole lot of like fruit flavors or notes from this, but you definitely get some citrus. Like if you got candied citrus, like that's drizzled in like caramel, like light caramel, I guess. Um, that's what it tastes like. And then you get the uh, piney, um, slightly dank um, bitterness in the back, but Primarily this beer is like a cup of like sweet malt with low dankness and like candied like orange peels, mandarin peels. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much this. Definitely not a bad beer, but definitely had better triples, but it's not a bad beer at all. Um, Block 15's been pretty good. 
um, with all their beers that I've had from them anyways. And this is no different. I mean, this is not like up there with, you know, the rest of their beers, but it's not, not bad at all. Um, if I had to rate this, I'm going to say, actually, let me go into the mouthfeel first. Yeah, mouthfeel is good for a triple or an IPA for that matter. Um, it's not thin. It has like some like kind of body to it. It's not thick like a stout, but um, it's not thin either. So, you know, mouthfeel is good to me. Even if it's like a thin mouthfeel, that doesn't bother me too much because I didn't expect this beer to be like um, a chewy kind of IPA, I guess. Um, I don't know how else to describe it. But yeah, not bad. It's just, I kind of wish the uh, malt flavor, the sweetness, the caramel, just wasn't so present. Um, I don't quite remember what it tasted like the first time, honestly. I just remember it was very drinkable, um, very crushable for a triple. And um, yeah, I just, I can't, I, there's so many, there have been so many beers in between when I had this the first time and now. Like, I just don't remember. Um, I just remember it was being very crushable. Yeah, very low bitterness. Um, it's pushing the edge of being a little too sweet for me for an IPA or just like any beer, I guess. But it's it's like right there, um, but it's not, yeah, yeah, it's not. Like, it hasn't passed the line, is what I'm trying to say. Like, it's just right at the edge of being too sweet. Um, but yeah, if I had to give this a rating, I'm gonna say, 3.75 just because it's like pushing the limits of being too sweet but also being a triple it's it's not bad at all like it tides a ten and a half percent very well um it's not like a ton of booziness to it except for like the burn in the back of your throat that kind of lets you know that you know this is a triple potentially um or at least a very high abb beer um but yeah like if it had more of like a bitterness to it and maybe like more fruit notes uh, it'll make it better um, but yeah it's just you know that caramel flavor I like the caramel multi sweetness but this almost has too much um, but yeah so but yeah that is block 15's the incredible a ten and a half triple IPA um, yeah 3.75 that's all that's all I can say. Until next time, dream big dreams and believe all things possible. Thank you for watching. Cheers.